My name's Sam Bodden, um, the owner of Cardiff Snowcraft. Cardiff comes from the Wasatch. Cardiff Fork is what we're named after. Um, this is the Pagoda 162. Uh, first time at the powwow. It's essentially backcountry um, driven. We started out focusing on splits and we wanted a board that could rip the corduroy as well and, and so we brought the Pagoda together. It's a it's a sister of that, it's very similar in shape, but um, different profile, some different uh, different rocker profile going on. If you go look at the side, we call this our half camber. It's camber underfoot, rocker under the front foot with a nice gradual nose, very gradual nose, makes it very surfy, not hooky. Um, when you're riding a groomer, it uh, it rips, it rails because there's no hookiness to it. What else do I say? It's awesome. It's awesome. You're about how, you, how kind of like, uh, like yeah, it was like backcountry specific design. But yeah, yeah, really. That's that's what it that's what it came from. Is uh, really the 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 shape came from a need to get into the backcountry lighter, faster, um, with more friction for the skins, and so really the focus was developing a board that that was super surfy on the way down, but also really ascended very well, had a lot of grip from the, the entire length of the skin. So I could go shorter length and make it a, a bit more surfy. This, the, the split board has about the same surface area in a 162 as I say a 174. It's got a ton of float and, it, and because of the rocker under the front foot, it pivots really well when you're in tight trees. And so this, so this, the, the need for this was driven by riding coolies, um, shoots in the in the Wasatch and riding our trees and getting up. And then that, what happened was I took this out a few times with my kids on Saturdays at Snowbird and realized how well it ripped groomers and I wanted a solid version of it. So that that is where this came from. Tightened up the side cut a little bit more than that one. We brought in the the, um, the waist width and the nose a little bit, about a centimeter overall, essentially making it a, a bit more of an all-around uh, performer. It's about three boards in one. Boy, and a real favorite here. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm going to be biased. It is. <laughs> what do you got going on for next year? Okay, next year we're going to do a lineup of the Pagoda. We're going to have it in three or four different sizes, going down to a 150. The 162 is really about the longest length we'll do because that's about all you need. Um, and then we've got three or four other solid models and then three or four more splits coming in various, mostly pow oriented, backcountry oriented boards. And so that's what's, that's what's driving us. And where can we find more information about you? All right. Cardiffsnow.com. All right. What was the best part about the Pow Wow for you? I was here today. It was it was the vibe in the tent. Honestly, it was it was getting down, talking with people about shapes, talking about progression, and then seeing the stoke, getting out on the snow with a few of the riders, and really enjoying the turn. It was amazing.